A few words about uh, Huey Long, a documentary, splendid one, uh, that you can find on the list uh, 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 on the New York Times site, a list of 1,000 movies, best 1,000 movies ever made. So this is one of the best and one of the top maybe 30, 40 documentaries. If you consider that there will be a few, but not more than 30, 40 documentaries among those, then you see where you can place this. Uh, fantastic in many ways. and <laughs> One of them would be that it's so relevant for this day and age. Even if we're talking of a character, Huey Long, uh, that lived uh, about a hundred years ago, um, the first part of the last century, the twentieth century, a man who became the governor of Louisiana, but he also announced the arrival of the very stable genius, the guy who doesn't want to concede, and who has been such an embarrassment, such a shame really for America and the world he, he has been alhamdulillah <laughs> not anymore um, the leader of the free world the one who whose actions had an impact here too and that's why and there's so much that these two figures uh, Share it's almost un unbelievable. Um, so Huey Long uh, came to dominate Louisiana politics. He was the uh, head of. I, I will make a few things up because I can't remember all the outfits. But from the university, the, the school's education board to the militia, he was uh, the head of the well, the governor also com committees, constructions, and so on. And he had partisans, just like this other orange fool that we will say goodbye to soon. Well, not, because he will... He still has 75, close to 75 million people voted for him. Fanatics, members of the cult. And it was, in many ways, the same with this individual, this Huey Long. They interviewed in, in many people who were enchanted with him. Even if, as we learn from the story, uh, along with the good things, so, uh, yes, some will uh, indicate a tax cut that Trump has put into place, which is good in many ways for the economy, if it, you know, taxes are small and businesses development. But there caveats to that. Let's not get into it for now. Huey Long built many roads. I think they were saying some extraordinary figures in the documentary. Uh, something like 30% of all the road workers in America were in, you could find them in Louisiana. A massive enterprise. But also corruption. Uh, he did good things. He spoke about the poverty and the people who are in need and the need to support them, but then he spoke. <laughs> uh, he did some things, but m m most of it for himself. He was um, addicted to power. They speak about the fact that he had um, a drinking problem at one point. I don't know if alcoholism. In quite a few of the uh, minutes of speeches we see in this again, formidable documentary, it, it gives one the feeling that he is drunk. Now, if it's on alcohol or power, there's another question. Power was the ultimate, um, uh, is the ultimate of the half of DC, I think. Uh, Kissinger, Henry Kissinger, former Secretary of State, and Eminence Greaves uh, uh, said that, uh, but uh, it, it worked uh, wonders for this. I mean, he was uh, out to get it. Again, just like the very stable genius. Um, he would not give up power. He would attack enemies fiercely. 
we have a member of the legislative of Louisiana interview saying something about the meetings. They met somewhere in the legislative house, uh, and uh, I guess. And Huey Long says, so I, have, I have this legislation. I'm afraid I can't because it will increase your powers. And, and then as he goes home in the evening, his mother says, your father has been fired. So the pressure, pressure. There was, there were, these were difficult times. He, 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 he could block. Uh, uh, people from getting uh, public uh, jobs. Uh, he gave those jobs to, to cronies. <laughs> also amusing, uh, uh, the, the figure was preposterous. Again, much like the one we see going out in uh, a little over a month on the 20th of January. So <laughs> cronies who kissed his ass. Right? Again, same story only happening beginning of the last century with, with variations. Uh, and um, then it seems, I'm, I'm trying to think of the accurate picture, that that Huey Long was a bit less, a bit, a, a, a bit less crazy than the present full Caligula of the age mm. or American Ceausescu and um, somehow made more sense in some of the features not that that was a lovable figure no, on the contrary, again had fans, had supporters but the feeling I get it was a, uh, a little Trump or bigger depending on how you uh, look at it so there's the story that he's <laughs> he's talking to his cronies and at one point stops, looks at them, thinks a little and says, well, if, if I die, you know, you all go to prison immediately or something like that. Um, he, 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 he had big dreams, big, um, uh, big ego, big uh, ideas uh, for himself. So, he wanted to be president. He supported FDR, for, uh, Franklin Roosevelt. But then they, they had disputes and um, uh, after that he declared he will run himself, he will be a candidate and he, he attacked Roosevelt, who is also shown with a short speech on this subject, not the other big major things he of course had to be involved in as we know um, but um, uh, something about some people who, who think themselves uh, um, he didn't say emperors but they, they're too big for the boots and, uh, grandiose uh, exaggerated uh, wishes, ideas and uh, pretensions and um, let's not say what happens at the end maybe you're watching this, unlikely and then you want to look for this uh, Huey Long again, very <laughs> very very few chances there, if any but if you do let's not say um, uh, what happens and and we will not include spoiler alerts.